Hey, this is Brett, T and Living. I thought we'd look at the garden. See what we got going on. Been a few days. Well, it's nice and sunny here. I thought we'd start with the garlic. All my garlic seems to be up now. I went back and planted a few extras I found. I thought they were a little far apart or something didn't come up in one, but got them pretty close together. About four good rolls in this box. Around a hundred cloves in there. Now these onions here are the onions that I had put in the bottom of the refrigerator and kept from the spring to the fall, the onion bulbs. Let me make that clear, it's onion bulbs, it ain't onion sets. I put all the, I've got an extra, I don't know, a pound and a half, two pounds, and I put them in the paper sack and I put them in the bottom of the refrigerator. Kept them to about October and put them out. I think it's around October. These smaller ones are the ones I grew from seed, the lesser Craig onions. Uh, compost bins in the way again. There's about a hundred of them. There's over a hundred of the other ones. Most of them are growing. I'm missing a few. A few of them died off for some reason. Or died down anyway. A little chop and drop there. I cut on the turnip greens I'm fixing the head to. They got up about knee high and I chopped them down and brought some of it over here because I didn't, I didn't get to plant that. It's running late. Of course, that's a planting of turnip greens in there. They're pretty late too. <clears throat> I didn't get everything cleaned out to, and it's probably October on it. It really didn't have the good weather to grow, but they're growing. They make good ground cover. I had a few extra of the Lissa Craig onions I grew from seed, and I had a few onion bulbs that was already in here, so I just decided to Put the extras in this box. I was going to put the, some strawberries in it, but we about decided to build another box for strawberries and just turn this into an onion box. I've got to get a little, little dirt to amend it, but I'm going to plant some seeds and I'm going to fill it full of bunching onions, I think. I've got a pack of seeds I'm going to try anyway. Of course, I fold my peppers up. They finally had enough. That's uh, mustard greens, turnip greens, and turnips. These are the ones I chopped here, too, or some of them I did. They were so tall, I cut them down. While I was in there, I pulled a few turnips. I planted a roll of purple top turnips for a couple at our church. They're, they have trouble growing them where they live, so they asked me if I would grow them some. Now, this is the first batch I'm going to take them. I thought I'd give y'all big look at what I pulled yesterday. My big hand out of the way. There's some pretty good ones in there. I think they'll be happy with these. I got more out there. But I didn't really know how many they wanted at one time. I got started pulling them and I pulled up a few of these little ones while I was pulling up the big ones. and yeah, They got something to work with. I hope they enjoy them. As I was saying, this is some more turnip greens in here. Right in the, where the okra was. Old big okra stem still there. I ain't never pulled my seeds yet. I've got some uh, collard greens. You can see them really well right here. See the little rounded leaves. They're a little more rounded than and as curly and elongated as a turnip green or a mustard green. I kind of planted these as things died out in the garden. I'd plant a few. Something else died out, I'd dig it up and plant a few more. But this little area, I didn't plant turnip greens. But I had beets growing. And you can see the beets are almost done. They're pretty good size now. All these turnip greens come up from last year. Apparently they, they seeded out pretty well. But I hadn't got rid of them yet. Even after plowing, I didn't get rid of them. Of course, it's my roll of kale. I got kale really thick. I enjoy a little bit of it. I thought I'd throw it in here too for ground cover. 
Finally got my peas pulled out. My butter peas, they took up quite a bit of room. I, I chopped quite a bit of that yesterday, trying to bring it down a little lower and throw some of it around different spots. And my bean area, it, it's got it growing, but it's very small too. It's just barely is making it. Cold weather finally got my figs. It's finally frosted enough, they're not finishing out. They're just hanging on the tree now. It's mostly greens, onions, and garlic. I'll show you my little greenhouse. I don't usually use it for a whole lot because it's pretty small. I used to use it for starting seeds when I started them outside, but I've made a grow station inside. I've got a couple of old tomato plants that just never did do much good. It's not that it's awful slow. I put them in here. You see I've got two or three tomatoes now. Got some blooms. I got the eggplant there. It's it's still hanging on. It hadn't done a whole lot. I thought I'd give it a chance. But these other pots have got various things in them. I don't know if that's a garden huckleberry or a wonderberry that's growing in that pot, but I've got the roots of a sweet pepper in there. I noticed the sweet pepper was starting to bud out around the bottom, so I dug it up and put it in the pot. Of course, I got a few sweet potato slips. They were just some pieces left over where I dug the sweet potatoes and they kept budding out, so I stuck them in the pot. Put them in here. I thought I'd see how long I could keep them. I know they said the, the sticks don't really grow anything, so if it grows slips, I just keep slips going. Got a little deal over there. I don't know how it got in there, but there again, more pepper roots. They was dead on top, so I cut off the dead and made little green buds at the bottom. This one's got cilantro in it. Still don't know how it got there, but we'll go along with that. This one had a couple green leaves in the bottom of it. I dug it up and put it in here, and that's a jalapeno. Two or three of these are jalapeno. That no worry, it's got some green on it. I don't know that it'll do anything, but we're giving it another chance. We're going to see what we can get out of it. Greenhouse gets pretty warm during the day, so I try to keep the door shut and keep it warm in here. There's enough stuff stored in here, junk and fertilizer and dirt and everything else. to makes pretty good mass in here, I guess, to hold the heat. And my little herb box. I still got rosemary growing. That's a uh, onion chives. And this, a couple of wild garlics I found growing in the yard. I moved them into here. Of course, I got basil. It's taking over the whole freaking box. I guess that's about it. Other than my little old kiwi over here, we finally got the kiwi planted. Got it in the ground, got it growing up the wall. I'm sure the cold weather will get it for too long, but right now it's up against the house. It gets a little longer season that way. Hope you enjoyed our video. Like and subscribe. Tell people about us. And God bless.